And of course, we wanted to find out how people here in East Texas felt about the decision. So CBS 19's Matt Lackard spoke with a local activist who helped organize Black Lives Matter demonstrations earlier in the year in Tyler. Nothing will be enough, enough to justify the fact that this young lady lost her life. It's been more than six months since Breonna Taylor was shot multiple times in her home by police. Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron announced Wednesday afternoon that only one former Louisville police officer, Brett Hankinson, has been charged. And the charges are not related to Taylor's death. For local activist Kiara Green, the charges brought forward are not enough. Here we are way past March, way past the point of something should have been done, and we're still, you know, waiting for justice. After conducting the investigation, Cameron says his office determined the other two officers were justified in their use of force because Kenneth Walker, Taylor's boyfriend, fired first. The use of force by Mattingly and Cosgrove was justified to protect themselves. This justification bars us from pursuing criminal charges in Miss Brianna Taylor's death. Today, Cameron shared new information that had not previously been made public. It's been said police officers broke down her door while executing a no-knock warrant. Cameron now says his office determined that officers did knock before entering the premises. I believe conducting a top-to-bottom review of the search warrant process is necessary to determine if changes are required. Even though Green is not satisfied, she's glad Hankinson did have charges brought against him. I do think this is a start, but it doesn't mean like, hey, you know, we're starting to progress and then we just stop here. So there needs to be some kind of conclusion. We've got your cover East Texas. Matt Lackritz, CBS 19. Green says protesters will gather in Tyler at the square downtown tonight in response to the charges.